everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. You'll notice that I have a little bit of a different look today. I'm shooting this outside in Southern Georgia at my son's home. The lighting seems to be a little bit better than some of the spare rooms uh, in his house. So hopefully this turns out well. Today I'm going to present a wig review of the brand new style by Gabor for fall 2019. It's called Fresh Chic. It's in the color Sandy Blonde, the Soft Shades Sandy Blonde, which is GL 1422 SN. Oh, oh, oh. Gabor's Fresh Chic is a, a, just a curly, cropped, angled bob cut. It's really cute. I think it will be appropriate for all seasons. I especially enjoy it here with a little bit of a collar. Let's take a look at this color. Uh, GL 1422 SS. It's a beautiful sandy blonde. It's a more of a medium sandy blonde tone. And then within that, you're going to see some pale ash blonde. All of that is on a lighter root. Now with the soft shades, what you'll find is that that root starts out a little bit darker and then kind of gradually gets lighter throughout. It's meant for it to be a very subtle rooting effect. This particular rooting is done, I think, very well. It's more of a dark blonde to a light sandy brown shade. The Fresh Chic has about a four inch bang area here. So that's very practical and stays out of the eyes. It kind of feathers back into the style very nicely. And then at the back, you'll see a seven and a half inch crown area and that tapers down into a two and a half inch nape there at the bottom. So you'll see some really nice soft stacking there in the back and then on the sides about a six and a half inch layer so all of those measurements kind of add up to this beautifully softly angled cropped bob and i do feel like there's plenty of coverage back here at the nape area i do really like the curl pattern as well it is very tousled in nature and uh, it, there's a lot of under wave that goes along with it. So there's a lot of body and wave below some of these choppier, uh, fringier layers. So right around this fringe especially, you're gonna see where it's kind of tapered and razored here around the face. I think that gives a very nice airy look. It's very comfortable to wear and there's not enough weight on those fibers to kind of pull those fibers down in front of your face. So it does stay out of the face very nicely. The style is very lightweight. It only weighs 2.8 ounces. So super lightweight. It has a temple to temple lace front and a left monofilament side part. Just like butter. It absolutely melts right into the forehead. Just a beautiful lace front. I'm always impressed with the lace fronts by Gabor, similar to Raquel Welch. Uh, they're made by the same company, so that may have something to do with it. Now, it's a little bit thickly threaded here on the top with this density, but I still think you can see through to the illusion of scalp nearly back to the crown area there. Fresh Chic has plenty of density. Um, it's an average density. I don't think it's too thick, especially with some of the tapered ends that you see right around the face where it seems to be heaviest. And there's a lot of permatease. Be prepared for the amount of permatease. If you are familiar with Sweet Talk, I think you get an idea of what this permatease is like. Is like there's a soft pillowy permatease all throughout the top and the crown. Um, a lot, a heavy amount right here at the temple area, and then right at the crown in the back. But this is a big voluminous style. I wouldn't buy this wig in attempts to make it anything other than what it is, a big voluminous round bob style. talk with the Gabor Fresh Chic. Off to the left, you will find some photos here of the Fresh Chic. Uh, the cap is exactly the same with the lace front left mono part, open wefted sides and back. Looking at the back of this, you'll see where the Fresh Chic has a little more stacking in the back um, than the Sweet Talk. 
and the front of Sweet Talk is actually seven inches as opposed to a four inch front on Fresh Chic. The Fresh Chic also features um, a little bit of a lesser density around the face which makes it lay a little more easily around the face than the Sweet Talk. The Sweet Talk's density is very heavy um, around the face in particular. Uh, both styles have lots of permatees and lots of volume. Next, I would love to compare the Aesthetica Winter to the Gabor Fresh Chic. Now, Aesthetica Winter is another voluminous curly bob with a big angle, a stacked back. You'll also find a longer front piece um, on winter about seven inches as opposed to the four inches on Fresh Chic. They weigh about the same. They both have a lace front and left monofilament side part. The winter has less permatees than does the Gabor Fresh Chic. It has a similar texture, although I feel like winter uh, might have a little bit uh, more of a shattered look to it all the way around, whereas Fresh Chic is a little shattered on the top, but then um, has an underwave that's very soft. Here's the inside of the cap for uh, the Fresh Chic by Gabor. Very, very beautiful cap. First thing you'll notice here is that that lace front does extend halfway back into the ear tab. It's very nicely contoured with some beautiful fine knotting there at the lace front. And then there's your left monofilament side part. You'll see some permatees housed in these wefts here around that monofilament part and crown. There is a felted ear tab that's extended. It has nice sturdy stays, very comfortable. And then in the back, you'll find an extended felted nape. That's also, we also have Velcro adjusters. I did have to take them in just a little bit to accommodate a petite average circumference. So I feel like this is a perfectly average cap size. Let's take a look at glasses. Now with these glasses, you're going to want to insert those below the ear tab and between the ear tab and the, the skull. That way uh, you get a nice secure fit. There's a lot of permatees around that ear tab. I think this style will look especially nice with some turtlenecks and collars, just because of the soft angle and all of this texture and volume. If you wanna bring out the volume, just insert your hands down into that permatease and kind of swirl and bring out that volume swirl around in there and kind of pull up, scrunch up, and you can just get tons and tons of volume on this style. So if you wanted a more smooth look, just kind of separate it there at the part. Maybe even apply the heat from your hand just to give a little bit of shrinkage to that permatease, and then work your way down the style. I think you can get some really cute ear tucks. I always love to fluff out the right side and then kind of scoop around the ear on the left side. A cute asymmetrical look. And in combination with that angle, I think it's super cute. Thanks so much guys for joining me today for a look at this brand new Gabor style called Fresh Chic, new for fall 2019. And today's color is GL1422SS. Be sure to check it out at wigstudio1.com. Enjoy your day.